blue in 2021, which is an odd thing, but he was a Republican. Look, I think Biden's Oval Office address should be a guide to all of us. Um, I think he, um, and I'm going to follow his lead, and, and, and w when he said there should be no place for political violence in this country, I think he is absolutely right. But when you look at the stats, political violence has reached new heights in this country. Hey there, my name is Devore Darkins. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be responding to The View's episode today with Sonny Holston and her reaction to the failed assassination attempt on President Donald Trump. Besides Whoopi Goldberg, she's probably the most woke black person on TV today. And most people who have any level of common sense knows that The View is just pure evil there's nothing positive that they ever talk about not when it comes to politics that is so i don't really watch them like that so maybe there are some some things they may say that might be positive but i don't put it past them any chance that they can get a viral story and turn it into a fear-based negative rhetoric they are going to do it and she is with the best of them i mean i can't i, I can't remember a, a black person who is so successful has the money she has, has the life that she has, but sounds like she's stuck in 1950 for some reason. And so what we're gonna do is actually discuss her mindset about her take on the assassination or the failed assassination attempt on President Donald Trump and um, go from there. But before I do, you guys already know what to do. Like, share, and subscribe and let's play the video. Um, the Brennan Center for Justice at, at NYU just released a report in January that found it was not just well-known politicians um, who have faced more threats. 43% of state legislators and 18% of local office holders are saying that they have received threats. Then Robert Pate, he's a political scientist, very well known out of the University of Chicago, conducted a nationwide poll, right, on the topic just last month. 10% of those surveyed said that the use of force is justified to prevent Donald Trump from becoming president. A third of those who gave that answer said they also owned a gun. Then 7% of those surveyed said they support force to restore Trump to the presidency. Half of them said they owned guns. So I know... Well, I, what is she talking about, right? I mean, this is a topic about a former president that was almost assassinated, and you're over here talking about some stats. You know, like, can you wait till Wednesday probably to do that? You know, like, w w read the room, right? And of course, they tell people in the audience to clap, okay? No one's clapping on their own, you know, uh, <laughs> free will, right? They, they're, they're, the people in the audience that you really never see, they're instructed to clap. So they're about to clap for her statement or whatever, and it's just ridiculous, okay? Uh, let's, let's keep going here. But he always says it's too soon to talk about guns and that we should because there has been uh, a, a terrible death of a father of two um, that we should. By the way, I should say this. They're all about anti-gun. OK, anti-gun. No one should own a gun, especially what they call assault rifle. You know, and the, the, the funny thing is this. It's in the Constitution. So they, they, they're fighting something that they're going to lose every single time. OK, it's it, just because you don't like the end result where people are murdered and someone decides to use a gun to do it. It doesn't mean the Constitution is wrong. OK, because the biggest threat on the citizens of America is not just the media, but the government. And one day it is a possibility because it has happened. It's not like this has never happened in a country where the government becomes tyrannical. And the only way for citizens to truly protect themselves would be through weapons. And even without that, just the sure self-defense, depending on what city you live in, you might want to have a gun, right? So I, at the end of the day, here, here's the other thing about this whole conversation. Well, no one should own a gun. Okay, so tell me your plan to remove guns from the criminals, because those are the people who are actually committing the most murders. Isn't it funny how they take what happens less than 1% of the time, someone who legally has a gun, who, who, has a, who, who can buy ammunition legally, tries to commit a murder, and sometimes they're successful, some, most of the time they're not. That scenario 
happens like less than 1%, especially when you compare it to people who have the guns illegally and are committing crimes. So, but what they do is they focus the attention on people who have it legally and they're blaming the gun, they're blaming the policies around guns, but they're not actually addressing the root cause. If you remove the gun from people, they will find another alternative to kill people. Either they'll start creating bombs, they will start stabbing people, they will run their car into uh, a, a building. Like they'll figure it out. If someone wants to kill someone, they're they're just going to do. They're going to find whatever 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 method they can at at the end of the day. So you know, it's just it, it's it's a conversation that you know they never apply common sense to it. By the way thoughts and prayers should be where we go. Mm -hmm. I say no. I say now is the time to talk about the common denominator when it came to this assassination attempt is America's fascination and obsession with owning guns. And <laughs> it just, that's, that's the truth. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah. I'd Not like to guns. think- They're, they're rifles, they're- AR-15s and, and bump rifles. stocks. And, and the Supreme Court just found that it's yeah. fine to have bump- She doesn't even know what a butt stock is doesn't even know but is speaking on it and they think that a butt stock is going to stop someone from being killed they're they're they don't even know about weapons they know of weapons they are not an expert on weapons stocks and so i'd like to think that the issue of gun control would resonate now more and um but rather than that i think What's going to happen is we're going to have more of this rhetoric of had there only been more good guys with guns, um, this may not have happened. And she doesn't even know what she's talking about. OK, let's go back to her point about gun control. Let's and use mindset for a second here. OK, the more you try to control something, what happens? The less control you have. This is why these leftists and these progressive people are idiots. OK, their policies have great intentions and terrible outcomes because you cannot control people successfully. It just doesn't work. That's not the way the universe turns. You, the more you try to control something, the less control you have. This is why cities or states that have the most regulation, the most government control, have what? The most people breaking the law. The most disorganized economy. It just doesn't work. Take California for an example. And so, well, the Secret I, Service had guns. They had guns. Those are and, the good guys. And so, but my my guess is they're going to say the Secret Service screwed up. If there were other people they with did. guns, and I think that gun ownership will probably, because of this event, go up in this country. And so, this look at her. She talk about someone who has such a platform and and the and the opportunity to educate people. I'm telling you, this is what the left does, right? They take a serious issue and they turn it into a social justice conversation it's got to be about guns it cannot be about the fact that where are we at with our political rhetoric the political rhetoric rhetoric that you sonny holston are contributing to oh we're not going to talk about that let's let's talk about this other gun issue knowing that oh yeah i probably shouldn't talk about it but you know that's who i am i like to talk about stuff that doesn't make sense i mean that's who she is on this show i mean i i can't imagine being in a room with her in private, I, I just can't imagine how she thinks. Um, it just every the, the life she lives contradicts what she comes onto this show and talks about. All of them, they all are successful financially, well off. Okay, they all have success somewhat with their family. Uh, now, Whoopi, on the other hand, does not, and she already acknowledged that. But they come on the show and and they do the whole the world is going to end, our country is going to end. Uh, Donald Trump is a threat. I mean, they're so triggered. We call it Trump derangement syndrome at the peak level, and she definitely has it. Down, and that is my fear. I think we need to have an honest and real conversation about real gun 
control legislation. Okay. Well, and it's a quickly oh, because I want to make. I would say it's a remarkable failing of the system. To your point, that he bought these rounds, they found that he had explosives on him, and there wasn't some flag in the system. And um, the Hill's investigating it. Secret Service has a lot of answers. But I've traveled all over the world with presidents, vice presidents, secretaries of defense. I've never seen a site secured that way, where there's just an open. Air exactly. If they did their job, we wouldn't be having this conversation right now. See, Sonny Holson wants to make it about guns when it's really just about Secret Service and their, their, they just utter failure. It's like one of the worst failures in the decades. There's, there's no question about it. But again, Sonny Holston likes to do what? She likes to take whatever issues she can, turn it into this whole theory about government control and needing to do this and that, and that MAGA Republicans are crazy and they're a threat to democracy and she's oppressed and black people are oppressed. I mean, she's the wokest as you can get. And when, when I say woke, I mean, she's like if there are levels to people being woke, she's at the peak level. She's at the highest level. Like when you look up woke in the dictionary, you should absolutely see her face. Because she sits up there as a black person talking about we are oppressed and she's afraid for her son because that's how these leftists think. They think from a place of emotion, fear scarcity and lack they don't use any common sense whatever well they don't use any common sense whatsoever and the big problem here is she's never going to take accountability for the words that come out of her mouth it's a good thing that she's on the view because they just allow her to say whatever she's going to say and whenever she does slip up they will kind of get her to you know deliver some half-ass apology but at the end of the day people like that are pure evil and this is why I told you guys, Donald Trump is not going to get the majority of vote when it comes to black women, because you know who's watching that woman up there who's watching The View? Black women. Majority of black women watch that show every single day. And that is the problem. And that is my mindset. So I want to know what yours is. What do you think about her take? Why did she take the story about the, assa the attempted assassination of a former president when it's really all about security? and the political rhetoric and turn it into this whole gun control statement like what do you guys think about that answer that and more in the comment section below i want to thank you so much for checking out this video today and i'll see you in the next one